hey, tonight I'm going to be reading you The Three Bears. It's a lot of fun in the classic, so I'm sure you're going to love it. Once upon a time, three bears lived in a house of their own in the woods. The first bear was a great big papa bear with great big paws and a great big voice that sounded like thunder. The second bear was a medium-sized mama bear with medium-sized paws and a medium-sized voice. And the third bear was a teeny tiny baby bear with teeny tiny paws and a teeny tiny little voice that almost sounded like a squeak. The three bears loved porridge, and they started every day with a heaping bowlful. One morning, after Mama Bear filled the three bowls with steaming hot porridge, the three bears decided to go for a walk in the woods while their porridge cooled. While the bears were out walking, a mischievous young girl named Goldilocks came upon their house. She peeked in the window and saw that nobody was home. The front door was open, so Goldilocks walked right into the house. Goldilocks was very hungry, and she smelled a most wonderful smell coming from the bear's kitchen. She followed the smell right to the three bowls of porridge that the bears had left out to cool. The first, first Goldilocks tasted the porridge from Papa Bear's great big bowl, but it was too hot and she burned her mouth. Next, she tasted the porridge from Mama Bear's, Mama Bear's medium-sized bowl of porridge. But it was too cold, and she didn't like it at all. Yuck, said Goldilocks to herself. Finally, she tasted the porridge from the baby bear's teeny tiny bowl, and it was just right. In fact, it was so delicious that she ate it all right up. Goldilocks was feeling full from the porridge and wanted to curl up in a comfy chair. The first chair that Goldilocks saw was Papa Bear's great big wooden chair, and she climbed up onto it. It was much too hard and not comfortable at all. Mama Bear's medium-sized chair looked cozy to Goldilocks, and she tried it next. But it was much too soft and squishy, and Goldilocks had trouble getting out of it. When Goldilocks saw Baby Bear's teeny tiny chair, she thought to herself, that chair would be just right for me. Goldilocks was so happy sitting in Baby Bear's teeny tiny chair that she sat and she sat and she sat until she sat the chair all to pieces. Goldilocks was suddenly tired, so she decided to explore upstairs for a place to sleep. At the top of the stairs, Goldilocks found the bear's bedroom. Inside the bedroom, she saw three beds neatly lined up. Seeing the beds made Goldilocks feel very, very sleepy. Papa Bear's great big bed was the closest, so Goldilocks climbed into it but it was too hard and too high off the ground for little Goldilocks. Next, she tried Mama Bear's medium-sized bed, but it was too soft and the feathered pillows tickled her nose. The third bed belonged to Teeny Tiny Baby Bear. Goldilocks hopped onto it and it felt just right. She immediately pulled the covers over her chin and she immediately fell into a deep sleep. Meanwhile, the three bears were getting hungry and they thought that their porridge would be cool enough to eat, so they returned home. But when Great Papa Bear went for a great big spoonful of his porridge, he found that his spoon was no longer there. In his great big voice, he growled, Somebody has been eating my porridge! Then Mama Bear noticed that her medium-sized bowl was not where she left it. In her medium-sized voice, she said, And somebody's been eating my porridge! Teeny Tiny Baby Bear scurried up to his little bowl. When, when he found it empty, he squeaked in his tiny voice, Somebody has been eating my porridge, and they've eaten it all up. The three bears decided to look in the living room to see if anyone was there. When Papa Bear saw that the pillow had been knocked off his great big chair, he bellowed in his great big voice, Somebody has been sitting in my chair. Medium-sized Mama Bear saw that the fluffed-up seat of her chair had been squashed. Mama Bear looked very cross. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, she declared in her medium-sized voice. Baby Bear scampered to his chair as fast as his teeny tiny legs could carry him. He was very upset when he saw his poor little chair in pieces. A voice somewhere between a squeak and a squeal 
Baby Bear said. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they sat it into tiny pieces. The, the Bear family was sure that someone had been in their home. They decided to look upstairs. Papa Bear looked at his great big bed and saw his blanket all rumpled and crumpled. In his great big voice, he boomed, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. When Mama Bear looked at her bed, she saw that the big fluffy pillows had all been squished flat. In her medium-sized voice, she grumbled, Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Now Baby Bear's blanket was still smooth, and his pillow was still in its place. But somebody has been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear in his loudest little voice, and she's still there. Goldilocks had slept through Papa and Mama Bear's voices as if she had heard them in a dream. But when she heard Baby Bear's shrill little voice, she woke up and saw the three bears looking down at her. Well, those bears gave Goldilocks such a fright that she leapt right out of bed. She ran downstairs and out of the house as quickly as her legs could carry her. After that morning, the three bears never saw Goldilocks again. Each day, they ate their porridge for breakfast, and they lived happily ever after. So that is the three bears. A great story. You never want to be like Goldilocks. You need to respect other people's things and their privacy in their home. So don't be like Goldilocks. Be like, be like Little Bear. Be like the good Little Bear. <laughs> I hope you like this story. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>